As the years go by, family members of Carlos Anderson are slowly accepting that hopes for a safe return have faded. September 10th will mark seven years since Carlos and his friend Ronson Williams went missing. When I spoke with Carlos' mother, Carmelita Pestano, she said her feelings are unexplainable given the level of pain she's feeling. Because remember it's a son and that son is no more in the house. The son is not, is not nowhere that you could actually see him and make it worst of all, there's no closure into the matter. Actually, that's an unexplainable feelings to actually, like, actually relate it to someone because remember you have nourished that child, bring him into the world, grow him up in the right way. You possibly think, but as he grows and you go out on the streets, it's a different life for our young people. So when you hear these things happen, you want to know what's next happening to our young people. What are they getting themselves involved in? What is going on out there? How can we help them more? What what more effort as mothers can we put into the places of our young ones that are coming up now? With the fast time that is actually going ahead right now. Everybody want to be in some form of a group, a gang, some form of something, ownership. But when you instill the writing in them and you try to let them understand that this is what I want of you, sometimes they feel, mom, mom, that's my friend. Um, I know what I'm doing. Right, so that's a feeling you always get as a mother, knowing that every day you keep talking to these children and to embrace them to be somebody better in society, better in for themselves. But when they go out there with the peer pressure that is on, they lead into all different other stuff. Pestano said the police are still unable to provide any answers to the family. I was actually at the CID office come sometime around in early. Um, August of this 2022 and from information I received there was just a little bit more evidence just needed to have the case into a breakthrough so there's no closure there's no answer from the authorities I don't know if there is I know there are persons or person out there who has all the answers and if they could be willing to come forward and let us know, because at least we would want a closure to know that the body is being burned, buried, dumped. We just want to know that there is where we could go and pick it up and put it to pieces and to have our hearts at rest at this point in time. While seeking closure, Pestano is encouraging other women whose loved ones might have disappeared under mysterious circumstances to join forces with her to bring awareness. So I plan to do a, um, if it's a little lunch, on a, open a lunch and put it on the air and ask people to come and support me in order to have a fundraising drive that we could help some of those mothers because it will benefit them in some way or the other. Ronson Williams, a former national footballer and a member of the Alpha United Football Club and his friend Carlos Anderson mysteriously vanished on September 10th, 2015. There are reports that their disappearance may be linked to the underworld.